KHOU 11 News at Noon starts now. An estimated 1 in 10 Americans suffers with depression. For some, medication and talk therapy helps. But as Sandra Hughes reports, one doctor has found a simple technique that also seems to work. Close your eyes. Just two years ago, Neelu Simon couldn't imagine that she could teach yoga. I wasn't functioning, I wasn't working, I wouldn't really go outside. Simon had struggled with depression since her teens, but by her mid-twenties, she deteriorated to the point where she couldn't even get out of bed. I tried pretty much everything and anything that you could think of, mm -hmm. and even with the meds, I was still depressed. But that all changed when she started future-directed therapy. One of the goals with future-directed therapy is to activate uh, parts of the brain that are sort of a little bit more sluggish in patients with depression. Traditional therapy tries to change irrational negative thoughts about life experiences. With future-directed therapy, Dr. Janice Vilhauer has patients take the focus off their past and look ahead in their lives. Her published study found that patients in future-directed therapy became less depressed and had less anxiety than those in traditional talk therapy. They were also eight times more likely to say that future-directed therapy was helping them enjoy life. It's a simple idea, really, setting goals and pursuing them. But to someone who's depressed, that sounds impossible. I thought I was doomed. I thought there's no way that I could ever, ever, ever get out of this. Simon says before future-directed therapy, she would never have done this interview. Now she wants to give hope to other patients who can't see a future. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Los Angeles. It just got easier for students.